Hey everybody, uh, my name is Clayton Buchanan. Uh, I have been a painter in the visual arts since probably back in the late 1940s. And uh, about 10 years ago, uh, I decided to let painting go and devote my time to writing. I have written my whole life as well as painting. So that whole concept of creativity has always gone back and forth. And to this day, I still get a lot of my motive to write from remembering the episodes of painting, what got me started in terms of the visual aspect. I was always interested in uh, trying to capture humanity in natural settings. I never could stand the idea of setting somebody up and painting them. That's why I constantly used photographs that I would go out and just shoot. And uh, the great thing about Photoshop is I could manually change anything I wanted in it from the color, from the contrast, you name it, it could be done manually and it was always my choice. Uh, and to this day, writing is the same thing. I read very little poetry. What I do read in terms of the poetic direction is writing, referencing, trying to get a better understanding of the availability of what's out there in terms of expression. Uh, the pieces I'm going to read today are some of those. And uh, the first piece I'm going to start with is called Squirrel Room. In my mini computer room, with my back to the facing window, air conditioner fitting that window spacing is closed off. A small fan with levels of aeration is enough to handle summertime heat. It placed itself to the right of my monitor. Last summer, Working on my writings at computer, I hear a scratching noise out my backside window, having no idea what it is. As I focus more and turn around, I think a bird or squirrel might be the culprit sound. I raise blinds and non-hesitantly bang on closed window glass, immediately seeing a squirrel sprint away jumping off outside windowsill. Never heard or saw him return that year. This year, seemingly, he has returned. My thoughts have changed. Reaching out, I want to do without expressing that fear tactic. Squirrels have extended mind-brain capacity and capability of using this talented extension to their benefit for survival, including better vision and motor skills in climbing artistry plus other survival achievements that are necessarily required to continue their living. Foam core sheeting used to seal off air conditioner has textured surface, thinking it will handle my scratching message sending. I am sure this was the source heard from my squirrel buddy. Window blinds open as I scratch away and then hesitate my sending. A moment of nothingness. Then scratching comes forth, but from a different place, his image suddenly appearing on the outdoor windowsill. I realize he has burrowed through the exterior phone core into a silent inside place and now has returned outside. Looking at me he, here, he is. Then leaping away, he goes into nature's atmosphere of life. Looking for a home, why not here? A home this has been for a hundred years. We have lived here for 30 years. This place definitely has an aura of positive living in and taking care. I open up sealed sheeting, replacing the exterior sheeting having been scratched through with a stronger sealing surface preventing interior climbing into. He has not returned to me as yet. I miss his scratchy speaking even though it is a foreign language. 
Here's hoping a home he finds. Wish I could provide. <laughs> this next piece is entitled Viewing the Feel of Life. Seeing is believing in the most realistic manners of living this life. Going anywhere, envisioning those dimensional masterpieces is my true learning experience on this planet. Facial features of woman is one of my heightened high points. There are all levels of beauty. Expression to me is my noted register of absorption. The simplest sight out and about can grab my attention in a manner of soul-defining seconds. A car passing by of windowed image, a mother with baby in the park playground laughing in recognized love, walking streets, viewing imagery and walking the mall, any place of audience hangouts. Differences show such diversity of woman's reality. Variation in age and body shape is in recognition and intuitively is part of beauty itself. Another door opener is talking with, opening up to learning about, and possibly advancing that learning to a next level of caring for, the absorption of self qualities so noted. Mastering the mind number two is noting the extreme diversity in facial and body features of man in contrast to woman. This interest in and love of humanity goes forward in each of us, hopefully worldwide. We all have the right to love and be loved. This next piece uh, is entitled Creative Emotions. Emotion carries and stimulates creativity to mountaintops of delivery, whether visual or written word. Where do emotions start from? Is it through sight, touch, smell, hearing, or all of these listings combined, creating stimulation of emotional outreach, taking one down that continued path of desire, expanding at times to a higher recognition level of feeling? Watching and hearing music delivered in an atmosphere of camaraderie is one of my explosive venues of living a true peaking of life itself. I so enjoy breathing in deeply these enthusiastic talents, offered so enthusiastically by the artist's extreme capability. There are times of exploding on stage, carrying me to heightened places I've never even been before. Another spurring of heightened fulfillment is observing unfolding of mental psychology and reactions to in settings of film and TV series. I watch these every day, feeling recognition from others that broadens my own being of self. At times, in retrospect, I accept these reasonings, having been given birth by my own negative shyness of living an exciting, full-fledged life with friends I have always longed for. This next piece is entitled Abstraction to Self. The broad spectrum of mind so expands occasionally what I see, envisioning to go further through, digesting that triggered source, and then seeing a reminded image brought into being recognized. Seeing imagery that opens these triggered doors does not happen often, but when it does, I truly enjoy the stimulating moment. The reality of my creative thinking may sound absurd, but during depressive times, it can be a needed saving grace. This happened that day walking in the woods along a graveled trail. I was grabbed by what the image I saw visually told me, not by what I actually saw in front of me. Constantly looking around my locations, I see many rootings of trees playing as they break through ground surface with all sorts of patterns to absorb. I then see a realistic image come to life. This particular rooting was wrapped configuratively around a subtle contrasting light-colored multi-layered rock, a small girlish animal's head I envisioned, sharing with me an ingratiating soft smile. 
of happy pleasure, this having just come into my life. Upon analyzing this grounded image before me, I visually see a young, full face with a short forehead, young pink cheeks, a small, round nose, relaxed eyes, staring simply, and soft, light, brownish, curly hair loosely floating around her face. These abstracted shapes come to life before me. I have no idea what type of being I am looking at but the thought is steadfast. I ask myself, why did I see an animal human type of being instead of a little girl of self? The wild living natural in this wooded location was the immediate simple answer that obviously fit here and now. She was truly a cute wild girl of this her nature's framed home. Yes? Louder. Louder? Really? Oh, wow. Okie doke. Let's see. Okay. This piece is entitled Myanmar Poets Forever. Dilapidated democracy deaths of poets in Myanmar since military criminal sizing of power has not yet taken control of their righteous words but has killed poets. On poets' words speak truths that need being said and acted upon. The horrific price to pay for these words of truth to Myanmar's people is openly accepted by these poets who put the value of freedom for others far above their own valued lives. This military coup needs eradication by the devotion to freedom so stated by the poetic words centralized from the township of Monwa, having emerged as center of fierce resistance. The National Poets Union has given Monwa poets countless awards in regard to artistry of words created in language, read and spoken. More than four poets have been killed here, some shot in head, some drenched in gasoline set on fire, more than 30 imprisoned. All of these fighting for freedom of life so stated by miraculous usage of wondered words on this goes. Realization actions for freedom here is an inspired inspiration. Let us join speaking of poetic words to open freedom's doors in Myanmar County, or country, between the logistic borders of India and China having been known previously as Burma. These poetic sounds have given their honored lives, or these poetic souls, I beg your pardon, have given their honored lives in standing tall, creatively stating the honesty of freedom, not only for their families and friends, but for all the people of Myanmar. The military coup continues killing and arresting protesters, including children across a country willing to stand up for its strong beliefs of freedom over military domination. We will win. Myanmar Poets' dedication to free speech has pulled together a countrywide expanding protest. It is receiving international recognition. The in-power military coup here duplicates the Nazi Third Reich under Adolf Hitler a true psychopathic killer of his period. The poetic word of truth across our world will bring them down. The Myanmar poets have given their devoted lives to words of freedom for their country and will not be forgotten and always will be remembered for strengths. The Myanmar poets are still fighting with words for freedom and I have added mine. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. <laughs>